So the three planes of motion that we exist in are frontal plane, sagittal plane, and transverse plane. Uh, the way to best understand these, our frontal plane is if there was a pane of glass that came and separated you from front to back, you would be able to move along that axis. So that would be side to side. So that pane of glass would be separating you from front side to back side. You'd slide along it one way and then the other. Now examples of those exercises would be lateral raises, side lunges, shoulder press, side bends, any of those usual suspects. So just walking side to side, that is the frontal plane. The next plane of motion, which we exist in most of the time, is sagittal plane. And that's where it's just, if that pane of glass came down and separated your left side from right side, you'd be able to move forward and back on that pane. And that is the sagittal plane. So any lunges, walking, running, squats, kittens playing in the background, front shoulder raises, the way we talk is in the sagittal plane, shaking hands, driving. Most of the way we exist is in that sagittal plane, and that is the plane that we train most often which also means that we need to train the other two planes. When you ignore the other two planes, that's when injuries start to occur. So training the frontal plane and the transverse plane for most humans is more important than retraining the sagittal plane. Now next we're gonna go into the third plane, which is, as mentioned, the transverse plane. And that's if a pane of glass separated top half to lower half, you'd be able to rotate. So any sort of exercise on that transverse plane could be a shoulder abduction or adduction, cable press or fly, core rotation, anything involving that plane where we go in and out. Okay, so there would be an example of shoulder abduction and adduction. Or any sort of rotation along that axis, separating top half to bottom half. So just to kind of review the three planes of motion, we have frontal plane, where we walk side to side. So any exercises within there. We have sagittal plane, where we go forward and back. And then last, we have transverse plane, our favorite. We're going to repeat the sagittal plane forward and back because that's the one we do most often. And there is the transverse plane. So hopefully you understand the three planes of motion and how everything we do exists in one or a combination of those three. So hopefully this helped you and, uh, and you can use it to help increase the productivity of your workouts.